So I'm here to ask you a couple of really awkward questions. Uh, are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, best game you've played for Scotland so far? I would have to say my debut, because, yep. because it was so spectacular, um, having my family on my debut and scoring a try against Tonga. Mm -hmm. But beating... Yeah, scoring a try is always good. Exactly. <laughs> you would know all about it. A little bit. But um, beating England, the Kolkata Cup as well. Yeah, yeah. The Guinness Six Nations, he had beating Murrayfield. Yeah. It was incredible as well. As for one favourite game. Yeah. You've now mentioned three already. That's, yeah, that's three already. <laughs> Hopefully there's more to come. Right. And if you... Uh, I mean, obviously you must really love being a prop, having your head stuck in scrums. But if you could choose another position, what would you pick? I'd have to go for centre. Really? 12 or 13? I think um, because I'm a bit of a, a bulky guy, maybe 12, yeah. sacrifice the body. <laughs> yeah, not so much on, in the outside on, channels. No, no. 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 <laughs> I'm not a squeak or as well built as you, Tim, but yeah. no, I, I always growing up, Maonunu was one of my favourite players. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So um, his pass, his step, his aggressive carries, yeah. I think that's something I, I really yeah. liked and admired about him. Yeah. Post-match meal? Favourite post-match meal? Post-match meal will have to be in the modern era and the modern day. So it's a protein shake with some creatine in. Right. And now let's get the real story. And then, and then maybe swap that for an ice cold beer. Yeah. Um, especially after a victory. Domino's, a McDonald's, day. where are we going with this? Um, I, would, I would actually go for a nice pizza. Yeah, nice. And then a 48 hour fast to get myself ready for the Monday again. <laughs> right. Um, Right, so you scored two tries, uh, Tonga and Ireland. Which one was your favourite? Ireland was most probably, I remember when I came off the pitch to get subbed, that feeling of, it almost feels like you're playing the rugby, yeah, eight, rugby yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The vibe, the atmosphere. Crowd, crowd going crazy. Yes. Yeah, nice. So for me, and also to add value to the team, I, I knew the importance of don't knock it on. Yeah. They do something silly, you have to get the job done. Mm -hmm. Even if you go head first, yeah. It doesn't matter if you get injured or not, you're going to yeah. score that try. Try, try. So for me, that was probably the best one out of the two. Uh, now, being a South African, you obviously love rugby. Uh, other favourite sport or, or favourite sport outside rugby? Football is really growing on me now, especially <laughs> spending so much time with Hamish Watson. Right. Oh, God, um, yeah. Oh, so, his hard work. So his hard work off yeah. the pitch. And everywhere we go, we have to watch all his... I won't say his favourite oh, team, God. but he's all the matches. You know, he, he won't spend a thousand pounds on FIFA just on buying players. True story. That's Greatest loose head prop of all time. I would have to say, born in South Africa, and all credit to him, Oost Durand. Yeah. But uh, playing for Scotland and spending time knowing Tom Smith, yeah. that just recently passed away, yeah. very sadly. Mm. It was a really a big inspiration for me as well. Yeah. Also a British Irish Lion. Yeah, and a great ball player. And a great, well. ball player. great ball player. Uh, best atmosphere you've played in for Scotland? The Kolkata Cup, Guinness Six Nations at BT Murray Field when we beat England. Any pre-match rituals? I do actually have a pre-match ritual. It's like a 30-minute 30, 30 power nap. Yeah. Good. And I'm you like, a, and, I, and I, I really like that. I, I like to play the game in my head a bit as well. Yeah. Like, kick off, do your job, nice. scrum time, yeah. your process, stuff like that, and then just fall asleep. Mm. And when I wake up there, I'm ready, focused. Ready to go. Ready to go. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Uh, if you had to choose, score a winning try or a scrum penalty? Scrum penalty. <laughs> God, you'd say that. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. Thank you.